Hello and welcome to the Repair Specialist. And I want to start off by giving a thank you for clicking through to this video and watching my videos and for those who've subscribed. In fact, I want to give a huge thank you. Because of course, without you, this channel wouldn't exist and I wouldn't be doing something I really love doing. So I want to give you a thumbs up. And so let's get stuck into the video then. And I've had a number of questions asking about oil and mainly can one use engine oil made for a car in a lawnmower? And we might ask, well, why would we even want to do that? We may as well go out and get some lawnmower engine oil because sometimes it's cheaper. But there are situations with some people, and I've been here myself, where you want to change the oil on your lawnmower and you look inside your garden shed and there is some oil in there and it's some leftover oil that you used for your vehicle. And of course, then we wonder, can we use this oil? Because if we can and it's there and readily available, it will save us a little bit of time and money. So we've got the oil. Now let's take a closer look at it. And the first thing is, in reality, it wouldn't just say car oil like this. It would say something like multi-grade oil. And let's just say that this multi-grade oil, just for instance, is 5W30. So it's got two numbers there, the 5 with the W and then the 30. In comparison to the correct oil for a little lawnmower like this walk behind lawnmower then, if we were to go out and buy a correct bottle of oil for this, it wouldn't say multi-grade oil on it. Instead, it would say something like SAE 30. It would only have one number making it a single grade oil, unlike the multi-grade oil for the car, which is so because it's got the two numbers. And indeed, a small walk behind mower like this with a small single cylinder engine normally uses an SAE 30 like this. So the main thing we need to know before we put any oil in a lawnmower is what the original oil for that lawnmower is as stated by the user manual or a quick internet search. And so let's say we do know the correct type of oil it should take. And for name's sake, let's just say it's SAE 30, which is a single grade oil. And as I've already said, is used in small engines like this usually. So the next thing to do is to take a look at the car oil that we have. So now I can make a quick explanation of how it's both similar and different functionally from the lawnmower oil. And making this kind of explanation now will help me to sum it up at the end of the video. So please keep watching. So let's first look at how a multi-grade car oil works in an engine. And then we can come back to the lawnmower engine. And so what we have here now is a basic model of a four cylinder car engine. And so as we can see it working now, let's take a look at what the oil, the multi-grade oil has to achieve. Well, it first of course starts in the sump here. As quickly as possible, the oil has to make its way through the strainer filter, through the main oil filter, through the fairly small and somewhat complex system of oil pipes in order to get all of that oil up to every part of that engine as it's now running so that there's no seizing or engine damage to any of these areas of the engine. And it's all down to these oilways, like veins in our bodies, that bring in that vital supply of blood to keep the body healthy, alive and functioning. The oilways bring in oil for the engine to provide its lifeline to allow correct functionality. But just like the human body, it's not all about the quality of the veins, but it's also about the quality of the blood. And in this case, it's about the quality of oil for the engine. So as long as we have the correct oil and none of the oil ways are blocked, then the engine should continue to function normally. And so let's have a look at this example now, why this multi-grade oil is so good for this car engine. Well, first of all, it's called multi-grade oil because it works as multiple grades of viscosity. And I've mentioned this in more detail in several of my other videos, but I also needed to cover it basically here in order to develop the point of what the video is all about. So if you already know this information, please just bear with me for a moment. So the first number here means that this oil has a viscosity of SAE5, which is quite runny and thin when the oil is cold, because the lower the number, the thinner the viscosity of oil. And so bringing on to the next number, this number indicates that this oil then transforms its viscosity to a 30 when it gets hot. But the important thing to remember here is that when it gets hot, it doesn't act like a 30 would when a 30 is cold. It acts like a 30 would when a 30 is hot. So it still would be quite runny, but not of course, as runny as a five would be when a five is hot. Okay then, so we know then, don't we, that any given oil is thicker when it's cold than it is when it's hot. So we can now imagine then that the oil inside the sump here is cold. Let's imagine this engine hasn't yet ran for a little while. It hasn't ran for a day or so. Now, the trouble would be here is that if this oil was acting like an SAE 30, then an SAE 30 in its cold state would have a viscosity that's too thick to successfully be drawn up 
through those little tiny oilways there to get the oil to all the areas of the engine that it needs to get to to prevent any engine damage from start up. However, as we know about this oil, when this oil is cold, it acts like an SAE5. So that means its viscosity is nice and thin. And so as soon as the engine starts, it can draw up all of that oil into the areas that it needs to get to so that there's no engine damage. And so an SAE5, when it's cold, means that the viscosity of the oil is nice and thin. But if it stayed as an SAE5, when the engine got hot and the oil got hot, particularly as it's already thin anyway, then the SAE5 would be way too thin and it wouldn't support successful lubrication of the engine. That is, when the engine's working at its hot state at working temperature. And again, I do have several videos going into more detail why this is, so please do check them out. And so at the same time, it's also a good thing that this oil isn't an SAE30 when it's cold, as we've already mentioned. Because if it acted like an SAE30 when it was cold, it would be way too thick. And again, that would prevent the oil from getting up to them vital areas of the engine that it needs when we first start the engine. And in that case, there's gonna be many cycles of the piston moving up and down without sufficient lubrication, so there's gonna be metal to metal contact. In fact, it's estimated that it can be up to 90 seconds before sufficient lubrication reaches all the parts of an engine like this, and that's even with the correct viscosity of oil. And so if we were to use an oil that was too thick, it would be much, much longer than this, and of course that would result in major engine damage. So as I've already said, when we get to working temperature and the engine's hot, the oil will have changed its abilities to act like an SAE30 does when an SAE30 is hot. So that now brings about a correct viscosity for the engine for sufficient lubrication. So let's compare that now to the SAE30 single grade oil for the lawnmower. And of course it's called a single grade oil because it only acts as a single viscosity of SAE30. So I think we know clear enough why we shouldn't use this type of oil inside this car engine. And so let's have a look why it's okay to use it inside the lawnmower engine. And this again will bring me on to my point very shortly. And upon taking a closer look of this type of engine, we'll see it's very, very different. And so this is a very basic diagram of the engine. And the first thing you'll notice is the engine seems to be on its side. These types of lawnmower engines are designed to operate on the sides like this. And operating in this orientation means that the oil in the sump lies like this here. And every time the piston reciprocates up and down, or in this case backwards and forwards, the movement of the crankshaft actually splashes the oil around inside there. And because it's such a small single cylinder engine, that splashing is sufficient enough to cast the oil around the crankcase, over the crankshaft and the main bearings, up into to the cylinder below the piston and create enough oil pressure to travel up the oilway there to lubricate the valve tappets at the top of the cylinder. And so you see, because this engine is only small, it doesn't take much to get the oil around it. And because it doesn't have multiple cylinders and pistons, there doesn't need to be a complex system of oil pipes to deliver that oil all around the engine. Basically, the oil in this engine doesn't have to travel the distance that the oil does in a car engine. And the fact that this engine works on the side in this way means that it's easier to splash this oil around to deliver the sufficient lubrication. And so, because it's designed this way, this is the main reason why we can use an oil that's an SAE30 viscosity when cold. Because you could imagine by seeing the way the engine works there, it wouldn't matter that the oil is a little bit thicker. It would still splash over the engine components, offering the lubricative protection. Okay, so now I've took some time explaining all of that, I can get to my point very quickly and very easily. Because I didn't just want to tell you in the first few seconds of the video, I wanted to give you an understanding why. And that is the main question of, can I use car oil in a lawnmower engine? And I think we've looked into it enough now to know, and we've gathered enough of an understanding that what matters is the last numbers. So if the last number on the multigrade oil matches the SAE number of the correct oil for the lawnmower, so in this particular case example, the 30s, then yes, you can. It doesn't matter about the first number of the multigrade oil. All that matters is that if this lawnmower takes an SAE 30, then the last number of the multigrade oil must be the same. So these two oils are compatible for the lawnmower as we've seen, but not for the car engine as we've explained. So if the lawnmower engine does take an SAE 30, and our multigrade oil is let's say 5W20 or 5W40, then we cannot use it. 
and I've used a 5W as an example on the first number, but it wouldn't really matter if it was a 0W or a 10W. When the engine gets hot, it would be the same, a 30. Well, we might say, where does the 5W come in then for the lawnmower? Will that make a difference? Because, of course, when cold, we'll have a viscosity of a cold SAE5 inside the engine. And the answer is, no, it doesn't matter at all. In fact, just like in the car engine, it means that this oil will splash even better and quicker because it's got a more thin viscosity upon starting when it's cold. And when the lawnmower engine reaches its optimum working temperature, so when it gets hot, this multigrade oil will just act like a hot SAE30 would do inside the lawnmower engine. And so therefore, all will be good and well lubricated. But remember, multigrade oil is more expensive than your general SAE30, so it's not really worth going out and buying a multigrade oil for your lawnmower on purpose. As I said at the start, this video is about the fact that sometimes you have some oil left over and you're wondering if you can use it in your lawnmower engine if you don't have any lawnmower engine oil left. So you either want to give your lawnmower a quick oil change or just to top up the oil. Remember, if those two last numbers are the same, then you're good to go, no problems. But I will stress again that you can use both in the lawnmower engine only under these conditions. You can't use both in your car engine. So I wanna thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. And if you have gained any information from it that you find valuable, then please do like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.